I've been places and I've tried to describe to people where I live and I say, oh, Susanville, and say, isn't that a prison town? And it's like, <laughs> yeah, we have a couple prisons. There was a lot of conflict and controversy over whether to bring in the prison. People were pretty hesitant about it. And then when it came in, then things started to change. At the mill, you could always depend. 12 o'clock noon, the whistle blew. 5 o'clock, the whistle blew. You can always depend on the whistle blowing. It doesn't blow anymore. And now we don't get it anymore. Well, it's gone. People are wanting to work, and that's all we want to do is give them a job. The prison was brought in here for the purpose of employment. The prison hasn't really produced the economic results that were portrayed to the community. It's mostly created minimum wage jobs outside of the institution. Traditions will die, isn't it? So now we got to learn to readapt and do something different. Would be my opinion. I believe we could be the prison capital of the free world, sitting right here in Lassen County. My name is Officer Berker. I've been doing this about 13 years. I've been jumped over 19 times, okay, with one or more than one inmate. I've been stabbed twice. I've been injured, seriously injured, a number of times. If you think for one minute that these guys won't jump you and straight rock you, you're wrong. And if you think you're bad, it only takes somebody this big to stick something in your neck. Everybody. Hey. It's a little bit of a culture shock for everybody that, that starts here, but you know, you just put one foot out of bed at a time and get up every morning and keep coming, you know, looking for looking for the big picture, which is making it through here safe and, and uh, retiring someday. Well, we were on our way to Carson City, Nevada for a job. We had enough money for Phillips Tank gas. It's pretty hard to hear your kid scream when he's hungry, you know. So, so we pulled into Susanville, California tonight. Stole some bumblebee tuna, <laughs> loaf of bread, macaroni and cheese, and uh, got caught stealing. We both went to jail. Both of us went to jail. CPS took the kids. There's no one to care for him. I got 16 months in prison. Come on, $28 worth of food for our kids and take away mom and dad, put the kids in the foster home. That's both. <laughs> 16 months of prison. Yeah, it's got to be a better way. 